everyone. Sorry about the little hiatus, but you know, what can I say? I, uh, I celebrated the, uh, the festival Thursday night just a tad too hard. And I was in pain, and not just in pain from a little bit too much booze, but as you may have all heard and read the news, um, Great Britain decided to go at it alone, and I did not expect that. Um, you know, to talk a little bit about politics, while well, you may be wondering why we're we talking about politics, because my, uh, my savings account just plummeted, that's why. And that affects my stay here, and what I do here when it comes to uh, to working on my comic book, obviously. So I didn't, I didn't quite see it coming. I think it's very much a case of um, when you live in the capital of, of a country, you kind of live in a bubble. A very liberal, open-minded, international bubble that is very different from the rest of the country. I've seen this firsthand living in Amsterdam. Uh, my hometown is just outside Amsterdam. It's, it's, a, it's a different world. I've seen this in London. Living here in Barcelona, it's super busy and whatnot, but like the state of Spain is not represented equally in this, the cap. Just because I went out partying, and just because yesterday, and I was going around from restaurant to restaurant, handing out CVs, talking to people, and like old school job hunting. Um, that doesn't mean I didn't actually get any anything done on my comic book. I actually got quite a lot done. Uh, I'm on the last page with my gray tones. I had about three to go and I finished one on Friday. I finished one yesterday and I'm looking forward to finishing one tonight and getting started on some of my other ideas that we've been talking about in the last couple of videos like doing prints, um, making drawings of the sites here in uh, Barcelona and seeing if I can uh, sell prints and arts uh, on the spot here in the city. I really need to start thinking outside of the box because in the past week I have not gotten a single response online and some of my Spanish friends have pointed out like yeah like when it comes to doing business online we're, we're this is not London like things are a bit different. In London if I sent like the last time I sent out my CVs I I got a response for like 9 out of 10 of them, like on the same day, within a couple hours, and interviews the next day. And it, it's, it's worrying me. Um, also because my host is gently kind of nudging me, you know, like you've stayed here for two months and like you can't do this indefinitely. And uh, so I've spoken yesterday to my other friend, one of my other best friends, and he point blank offered me he's been offering me a place to stay consistently like the, at the point where you need to pay don't worry you can stay at mine and uh, we met up yesterday and he served me up again a couple of beers but the percentages were way out of whack closer to 10 than 4 I'd heard and um, but again like he offered me a place to stay now, that is reassuring so I still feel a little bit of anxiety uh, because of all the news and of course if you're depending which side you're on you know it's it, so I'm trying is I'm trying to read more and more news from the opposing side and so there's a lot of people who are very confident about England's place and what it could mean and I myself am very confident what it could mean for Europe they need to get their stuff in order they need to become more transparent you can't have a constitution that is 2,000 pages that no one knows what, what is up. Like You need to have an American-style constitution that school children can memorize off heart when they're four years old. Like These are all very important things. Like You need to have a unified approach to immigration so that it doesn't get hijacked and used as a protest vote, as we've seen in this referendum. I know there's, there's a number of my friends who voted for independence because they want to see an independent country but I, I also think there's a lot of people who are just upset with the status quo and um, and so they just voted against that they are now realizing what they have done uh, how they have cut EU funding to their part of the country but it does put my back a little bit more against the wall here and I think that might be a good thing for me uh, because another thing I'd like to talk about but I'll save that for tomorrow because we're, we're heading over time already, uh, is the whole entrepreneurial 
shift in my mind that is very slowly happening and that is kind of freaking me out. But I'll save that for tomorrow. So yes, today's episode of 100 Days of Making Comics, going for number 200. A little bit more political because it has a lot to do with how much money I still have left in the bank that has afforded me to finish 10 pages of making my own comic book and that's very important to me so I hope I didn't bore you to tears if you have any comments or anything to say about this or any questions um, I'll go into it deeper tomorrow so let me know and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow because I'm about to go out and hand out some more CVs so hasta luego <laughs>